Floss Tube. It's Janet, Janet with Janet Jabber. I'm coming at you with episode 23. Um, if you are new to this channel, it's a channel about cross stitch. We'll all talk about a little bit about life updates and lots of cross stitching. Uh, so um, if you do like what you see, like, subscribe, and um, share, stick around, do all the things. Um, if you are coming back at me to spend more time, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing. Um, a little bit of your time this week or whenever you're catching on this. So uh, let's dive into what's going on. First, I had some shout outs and I want to um, thank them properly. So the first one is Jackie from Cross My Stitches. I actually found her through tutorials and uh, the, the, floss, the floss drops, thread drops, thread drops that I've been obsessed with. Her tutorial was one of them that set me in the right direction on how I wanted to make them and what I wanted to do. So that was super cool. And that especially, and one of my viewers are the one that told me that uh, she had uh, given me a shout out and recommended to check me out. The other one is Carla from DD, um, DD's Floss Tube. Um, she's an Australian floss tuber, a wonderful. She actually uh, sent me a, on my comments, asked me if I was sticking with my um, treadmill and that I had said at the beginning of the year I was going to, and hmm, not so much. I do get on it a couple times a week, but I really, I've, I've been walking on my first break, so um, I need to get a better consistent pattern, uh, That and that's what I mentioned to you at the first of the year, so um, always room for improvement. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Okay, so just to call it out, I look a little different, so if you're looking at your screen and Janice got straight hair, yeah. Uh, I had a thing this weekend with my husband. Um, it was super fun to go watch a band play and have dinner with a few other couples. And uh, my daughter did the hair straightening thing. And when we straightened my hair, it lasts for a few days. Uh, so yeah, so I look a little different. Other than that, um, I did do a couple non cross stitching projects and I wanna share them. My daughter has a baby shower she has to go to and uh, I'm somebody that is just, I don't know, if I can, I like to do something a little more personal. So I want to show you this. This is a baby blanket, lap blanket, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it's made out of flannel and it's just a yard of material that I sewed together and, and did all the things. But it makes it a little more special and personalized, I think. But it was so funny. So I was in the store doing this shopping for this and I was FaceTiming her to help pick out the fabric. And she was like, you should make me one. And to, to be completely transparent, this is something that my mother had done. Um, I have these quilts all over my house for a month when my daughter was little, um, just ones that she gave me for decorations. But my mother hand sewed around the edges and um, of course, very precious and of course, you don't realize till they're gone how much more precious they are, but that is what inspired it, my mom's blankets. And when I was FaceTiming her, she was like, you should make me a new one. And I was like, I am not making my 19 year old daughter a baby blanket. Another customer heard me and she was like, after I got off the phone, um, she was like, you should make her this one and, um, and surprise her. So I'm a sucker and that's what I did. It is not, look, it, this one's just a lap blanket. So look at this pretty, pattern and on the back it looks like that of course now she's in love with it and thinks she needs to redesign her entire bedroom imagine that but I couldn't just let her have one <laughs> I made myself one uh, home sweet home and the inside is yellow now I will say what that customer told me was um, I had only my mom only ever made just cotton ones and um, my daughter kind of wanted the flannel one and I was like I don't know how to stitch, I don't know how to sew on flannel. And again, that customer was like, it's just the same. I'm like, same thread and everything. And she's like, yep. So there you have it. That's what she got then. And I'm super loving them. They're super cute and soft and, and all the things. So uh, other than that, one other non cross stitching related thing, and then we're gonna jump into things. Um, I'm not a huge Ray Dunn hunter as they call them, but I do like the stuff. I just have a couple of mugs. Um, but we went out to uh, TJ Maxx is right close to my Joann's, which I'll talk about that in a moment. And they have this cute little love. It's a candle. And it smells super good. So uh, once I burn the candle, it'll just be a thing. Decorations. 
He said, look, it matches perfectly up there. So perfect. And it's five bucks. So, all right, let's jump into this stitch. And that's what you're here for. I actually have no finishes this week. I have no FOs this week. Um, but I am going to share with you a past finish that is not mine. I went to my local LNS. Why do I say that? I went to my LNS and um, I always check, peruse through their clearance table and they had a couple finished pieces that were on there. To give a little background story, I started cross stitching when my daughter was six weeks old and this LNS has been there ever since. I used to take her in in her car seat and sit her down and do shopping or sit and stitch. I was a single mom. Um, it was kind of like all the things just to be around and be social. So, <clears throat> I don't know. I feel like I'm sounding weird to you guys. Anyway, Butch, it's a husband and wife team. Their daughter works there also. But Butch is always stitching. And But back when my daughter was little, he worked full time. Now he's retired and he's in there. Long story short, one of his pieces I act, were for sale, and um, I know this is the Brenda Gervais. I do not know what it is. I want to almost say boo because of what it says, but they had taken it out of the frame, so I will have to figure out how to full, finish it, fully finish it. But I actually was ten dollars, nothing horrible. Um, but for me, it was like I've known these people for almost twenty years. And he is a beautiful stitcher. Most of their models are done by him, I believe. So um, I was like, this would be kind of cool to have something that Butch had stitched. So there you have it. So I got to like, I don't I don't know that I'm going to frame it. I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. I have a little bit of time. It's a Halloween piece, but there is a past finish for you. <laughs> Not mine, but somebody's. I'm going to jump into my whips. <laughs> All right, I have a lot for to share with you. I got a lot started, stitched, got a new start, and so let's just head through this pile. My first one is Live Simply. I stitch on this piece every single day for a daily, for 30 minute challenge that I do on uh, embroidery.com Facebook page. Um, so this piece is stitched on 25 count Lugana Heritage and oops, this is what I have. So this week, all I've been concentrating in this whole challenge has been the grass at the bottom. But this week I was kind of just tired of doing rows. So I outlined the motifs. So therefore now I don't have to count and I can just fill. Um, I'm kind of getting bored, of course, with it. So what I think I'll do is like one thing of grass and then maybe jump around here and do a motif. I don't really know yet. Um, I still have one more motif down there um, before I have to make that decision. So that is my a daily stitch that I do. My next one. All right, I'm going to get this right today. I promise you. One Nation. Join me at One Nation Sal. Um... For a stitch along, we're doing basically one state, one star a week, and we'll have this baby knocked out in the year, and it won't be like overwhelming. I am count, I am stitching this on 32 count vintage country mocha. I just did it right. I'm looking. Hoo, hoo, hoo. I mess that up every single time, and I'm sure I'll mess it up again, but I'm super excited. I got cheerleaders out there in the audience. I know I do. I know my friends are like, finally. All right, this is where I'm at. Um, I finished up South Carolina and got me another star over here, and I'm just plugging along. I actually, I love this fabric. I love this fabric. I love this piece. All the things. All the things. All right, next. This is my new start. You've seen it all over social media. If you're anywhere out there, everybody's mentioned it in their floss tubes. Leanne from Lost in Floss passed away in January, and on February the 14th, they started a stitch along. They regenerated her stitch along that uh, her and Barb had started in November um, of 2019. So, Heartstring Sampler, Baby is Cold Outside. I am doing my Life with Miss Sassy's Blue Conversion. This is on a piece of Mo uh, Monaco that I 
you actually saw here not that long ago on my channel um, that I had died and then did the distress stuff too. And basically all I did on the 14th was get the border done. If you follow me at all, you know I'm obsessed with borders, so my borders met up, so next. Now I can feel like I'm digging into it. Uh, just to, if you, I'm sure you've seen this blue conversion because there's several floss tubers that are, to, or people on Instagram that are doing it, but just to give you, it's, it's just these blues. And boom, there you go. I'm loving it. I, I'm, I love it. And I think my piece of fabric will look perfect with it. Uh, Opie, hush. So, my next piece is Hello Spring by Plum Street Samplers. I am doing it on 32 count Queen Anne's Lace, a Joblin piece. And I have gotten this far. Kind of doing the outlining and I'll go back in and do fill in. Um, I noticed when I was getting stuff ready for my video today, I got to pull out the S and the P. Um, it's literally one space down. So two threads, one space down. And I notice it right away when I look at it. So I will pull those two out probably today, get that fixed so that I can be back on target. Next, what a super fun, fun piece. What am I talking about? Suffragette by Little House Needleworks. Again, another sal. Lots of people are doing this. So stitching with the sisterly um, suffrage is the um, sal. This is on 32 count sand castle joblin. All I did this week was get the little column done. And I'm telling you, this video does not do it justice. This is so beautiful. These colors are so beautiful in, in person. So I'm actually purposely stretching this out to enjoy it. Um, I mean, the election is, there's a stitch, that looks funny. The, the uh, elections aren't until November, so I just kind of want to, I want to spread this out. I am enjoying stitching it and I want to spread it out. So when I spoke with you last, I told you one of the things on my whipcord board was an Easter piece and that I wasn't really jazzed about it. Um, I must rescind my comment because I'm super jazzed about it now. I am stitching Big Dream by Country Cottage Needleworks. And I'm stitching it on a piece of, uh, oh, it just says tea coffee died by me, so it must have just been something white. Look, okay, so I finished the border again. When I, when I saw you last, I had the top and the sun done. That was it, the top and the sun done. I finished the border and started on this green at the top of the carrot. Um, I'm getting it back for you. So at the top of the carrot, and I am enjoying this so much. Um, so yeah, guess guess Easter's uh, creeping in on me, and not so not enjoying it. My next piece, February thirteenth. I stitch on a Halloween piece on the thirteenth of every month. So because of that, I pulled out. Glory B, B-Y-O-B. I've said this every time I show this piece, this picture does not do it justice. This is the, the color choices on this, it's right up there in, it's just on point, absolutely on point. I am stitching it on 32, nope, 28 count legacy. And it is gorgeous. I have a, this is an overcast day and I don't know if this is showing it, but I got, October 31st, 12 to question mark done. That's what I got done on the 13th. Why do you ask? That looks like not much. To me, that looks like not much. I had to restitch the O three times, the C two times, the T one time. Restitch it. Restitch it three times. Restitch it two times. What in the Hades? I counted off the wrong leg, I call it a leg, of the W. Not once. I did it all those times. And I finally just was like, I'm working this stuff backwards. I came down here and worked that way in order to finally get it right. But 
whatever, it's gorgeous. I'm glad I didn't give up and I got this line done. I literally have um, the BYOB and the bottom border and this would be done. So um, I only stitch on the 13th, so maybe one or two more months. We'll see. This last piece that I stitched on, I, it's a love-hate relationship and I don't understand. So it's a mystery and I'm gonna figure it out. But what am I talking about? Grimm's Fairy by Cloud Factory. I don't know. Two pieces have dropped. I don't even know when the third piece is gonna drop because I'm that far behind. I'm stitching it on um, 18 count sea glass by Be Stitch Me. This is where I am. And I don't know. Now I'm, I'm stitching this, it's 18 count and I'm stitching it with two threads. Sometimes I look at it and go, well, maybe that's it, but I like how full it is. But am I, is that my struggle? Is it my needle again? Maybe that's the thing. Maybe I need to try, like I did on my Monaco, uh, the Easy Glide needle with the ball at the end. Maybe that would help me. It's super cute. Once it starts coming, um, sometimes I think I blew up the chart. So the chart looks really, really big for my old eyes. And I wonder if I think that it's like, this is massive. I don't know. I don't have the answers. I'm still plugging away at it. I, I, I love the results that it has. I love it on this color of fabric choice. So yeah, maybe it's this fairy tale. Maybe when I move over to the prince and the frog, then it'll be, I didn't know this fairy tale. So maybe I just, maybe I don't have anything in it. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. It could be that too. All right. That's it for what I have been stitching. Now I'm going to jump into haul, mail, slash finds, all the things. It's just kind of a pile of a hot mess. And I got some few notes written here that I want to talk to you about. First off being, I went to Joann's to do their sale this weekend. Um, DMC was five for two dollars. I swear those cashiers hate me when I go through. You're gonna have a little crinkly because it's still in the bag because I've not separated it yet. Um, and my cat got into it. My daughter's cat, but. Anyway, look, hot mess. I think there's probably like 100 there. It's not even everything that I need. So um, I'm gonna toss this to the floor, one more crinkle. Uh, yeah, but there was a number on my chart Two of my charts, two of my Mirabellas that I'm doing, there was a number at the bottom and it was 52, DMC 5282. There's not a spot for that at Joann's. So I knew I was going to my LNS because I went there solely for another floss. I'm crazy. Thank goodness my LNS is literally 12 minutes down the road. Um, I For that project that I stitch on every single day, I ran out of that grass collar. But, oh well, I'm digressing. Anyway, so this is the love of having an LNS or somebody that you can talk to. So I said to Barb, 5282, DMC, what is it? It's not in, her, I mean like even I looked through hers, it didn't go there. I was like, what is the deal here? She's like, you have an old chart, don't you? I was like, yeah, quite old. I think one of these says 1995. I'm not digging in. I'm pretty sure one of them, say 1995, 96, something like that. So, yep, kind of old. I mean, the number on this is 45, so that tells you a little bit of history. Um, the other one is 22. So, yeah. Long story short that I'm rambling about is it is has been renumbered Light Effects. So, at Barb's store, her DMC drawers have the new number and in the parentheses it said 5282. So there you go. It was for that. Did I buy it? No. Uh, because again, the owner, I did not need. I would have had this prepared. This was a, this is a spur of the moment telling you. Her and I came to the decision to do treasured braid. Um, and that's what I'm gonna substitute in uh, for what the chart is actually calling for. So yeah. So there was that. Um, I did also pick up two Mill Hill kits. I'm such a brat. They had one of them the last time, but 
I want to buy both of them at the same time. So I was like, I'll just wait until next time. And then they were there. So look at these little Mill Hill kits. Spring forward or spring ahead and fall back. Um, I live and breathe that saying because I, and then I sit and go, wait, my clock. And I have to fix the clocks in the cars. But anyway, there's a little arrow. Part of the design, there's an arrow for backwards. And forwards, or back, whatever. Yeah, forward, this one's a forward arrow. This one's a backward arrow. It'll be part of my life. So I have, oh, I may need to start that for spring. If I'm gonna get it done for this year. There you go, another project I gotta start. Um, and we're going to talk about starting more projects in a minute because I'm not done with my bio. Ah. Um, I, you know, my obsession with floss drops. I, what you don't know is my hatred for the metal rings because they come undone. We just have a hate relationship. So I don't want to mean crinkly, crinkly. Um, these are those wire, um, steel wire things that people are using. I actually, I use those. I've given them away to people. Um, I, it's very, I have luggage tags that I use those for. So yeah. And then this next one is because of Christine stitch all the things. Yes, I have project bags, but I have projects that are in a bag back here of like someday. So I thought, I like what some of these floss tubers are doing. Cross stitchers, I'm sure other ones do it. They just don't put it out there. But like if they, they would put the chart in here for like, I'm not stitching on it, but put the chart in here. Oh, I found the fabric um, that I want to stitch on it. And so then it's kind of like separated from the whole, I, I need, I want, I gotta have pile, if that makes any sense. Um, I even heard Steph and uh, Pam mention that they have a bag that they take to other LNSs where they have a chart, but they're looking for the fabric or they're missing a floss or they want to substitute. So, um, yeah, I, it was cheap, cheap to get those bags. So, um, I got, I went down an Etsy rabbit hole a little bit. So I'm going to show what I got. So, uh, Little Stitch Girl. I know this is Valentine's and we're past Valentine's, but um, I'm in love with this. I actually, I'm sure she doesn't watch my channel. She's going to market, so she's a hot mess right now trying to get everything ready. But um, I could see this being a series and having all the seasons. I, I'm telling you, Jordan, if you hear me, I would totally buy all the seasons. It's gonna, I know it's a quick stitch. I saw other people stitch it up with no, in no time at all. So yeah. Um, another one, this is Kansas City Girl in a Colorado World's Fault. She mentioned that this was from um, the Stitcher's Covenant on Facebook. Someone had, they're selling it on Etsy. So it's uh, Marissa Nicole's M. Kissa Creations. This is the chart. So, things I know for certain. You can't read that from there, so I'm going to read it to you. And it says, always throw salt over your left shoulder. Keep rosemary by your garden gate. Paint, plant lavender for luck. And fall in love whenever you can. I, I literally, this is another one where I paused the video and I went and purchased it. Well, no, I didn't purchase it. I paused the video, put it in my cart, went back later and purchased it. Uh, literally rosemary I didn't know but I already do all those other things <laughs> fall in love as often as you can I fall in love with my I re fall in love with my husband all the time and I don't mean to sound that to make it sound like ooh mushy but I do I you know my my kids do the sweetest things I, I, I love is just in my heart so um, I actually got a little card from my um, youngest stepson um, I don't really call him that. He's my son. Anyway, um, he calls me bonus mom. And so there was a card on my thing that said bonus mom. And I'm not going to sit here and read it cause I'll get teary eyed. But basically what he was telling me was that, um, no one told me I had to sign up to do all the things of giving up sleep, giving him rides, 
uh, checking on his grades and making sure that all the things are done for him and that he loves me and thanks me for it. So super cute. Uh, my husband always told me that these kids will realize that as they got older and they are. So, um, all right. N another thing, again, not trying to sound sad and sappy. This week I was stitching and I was sitting at work, just stitching away, listen, on a break. And I went, I, you get, you're in your own head. I'm sure I'm not the only one that's in my own head. And I was like, oh, I need to call my mom. And I literally did a physical shake. My mom passed away two, almost two and a half years ago. So I was like, what in the blazes? So I called my sister and we talked for about half an hour and she helped me. Anyway, um, but it was the day before that. Um, February 13th is the unfortunate anniversary of my best friend who was murdered 19 years ago. And no matter how much, uh, you're like, you just don't get over it. Um, for lack of better, you just don't get over it. So it's always in my head. I was a 29 year old, um, young lady who lost my best friend. And I go, I don't have anything that I've ever stitched for Tammy. Why is that? So I don't even know how I went down this rabbit hole. I, I'm gonna look real quick before I show you the picture. Um, Pocket Watch Pixie by Katie Fredericks. And it's Eye of the Magpie Designs. Uh, if I remember, I'm horrible at show notes, but if I remember, I'll put it in there or or I'll pop, put it, pop it on here. But it's one of those punk steam patterns and this will be a big and I bet it's bet it's equivalent to size to a mirror bill. I didn't check, but I'm gonna do this for Tammy so that when it's around my house or as I'm stitching on it, um, that's just kind of how I how I roll. I am a big like memor remember a person of of like as I stitch that, as I see something, it reminds me of certain things. So it's just me. Anyway, that's. That's what I got here. That's all my stuff. So, what else do I have? <clears throat> I want to show you. Somebody mentioned this, and I kind of do it, but not on a regular. This is my planner. Um, this is how I keep track of what I stitch on every single day. I like write down the name of the chart so that when I come back to record for you, I can actually go back and say this is what I worked on. That's how I know what to pull. Because other than that. Um, I want to be in a challenge group. I'm in the challenge groups. I just don't participate in them because sometimes this gives me stress. I can't imagine if all of a sudden I put on my stress level, oh, I have to do this, this, or that. So, But I want to. See that? My daughter would tell you it's because I'm a Gemini. That's what my daughter would tell you. Anyway, I have got fillers out. I have been told that there's a mythical creatures one that does time not counting uh, I'm checking into them let me just say that uh, without trying to get overwhelmed so so my plans for this next week are uh, I want to get hello spring that is a February finish that I'm shooting for uh, touch on get some more progress on baby it's cold outside that side that Sal does not have a deadline but I would just kind of like a little bit more on it and that's what I do when you see on that list that I had multiple, sometimes I'm like, all right, for just an hour, I'm going to stitch on Baby It's Cold Outside, which is a sow. Um, I just don't. The only one that I have a deadline on myself for is the one star, one state every week. Um, other than that, for the most, I mean, I'd like to get Hello Spring done for this month because I had set a goal like for the three season, th three months of spring that I would, or whatever. January, February, March, I would do spring. Get it April, May, June, summer. So I'm sticking with that so far. I've, I've hit it. I hit it in January. What am I talking about? Whatever. All right. I, um, I think that's it. I've got to what goals wise, I still have to touch on my Daisy one, which is Nora Corbett. I want to get some more on the cinnamon star, Sal. Um, so I have a few that I want to stitch this week. 
Uh, and maybe I'll reevaluate that as I put my stuff up. <laughs> my big old baby girl is coming to see me. My German Shepherd baby goes to get fixed tomorrow. So um, it'll be sad a couple of days for her. Other than that, um, I think that's all I've got for right now. Um, I'm going to uh, get off here and stop rambling. I'm going to tell you, just keep stitching, keep your stitching going, enjoy life, and I'm going to send you much love. Bye.